All right, what's up guys? I'm Scribble. I'm back with another how-to Minecraft. Uh, if you saw my last video, we actually built uh, built that power station back towards the reactor. I'll post a video right right there somewhere, right there, uh, or a photo of it. Uh, today, I'm actually going to show you guys how to uh, double your ores. As you mine stuff, that you can double your ores. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a pulverizer, a redstone furnace, and these uh, diamond glass chests behind us right here. These chests. So it's going to be a little bit of a long video. I have everything prepped, so it's kind of simple. Uh, I'm going to run through the. I'm going to go through the uh, these crystal chests first. Here's the inventory on them. Like a normal chest is only like this big. It's like nine by like nine by three or something like that. So obviously you're gonna start out with a chest. And once again, just like all my other videos, you can pause if you don't know the recipes. And you can just follow along. So to make these chests You start with a, a normal chest. Do I have one here? Okay, yeah I do. So you start with a normal chest, just the eight planks. And then you take your regular chest surrounded by iron. So let's do let's do an inventory check. So here's this. We have uh what was it three by nine? So now we'll put our we'll do our iron chest. And now we have six by nine. And then with this iron chest, you'll surround it in gold. <clears throat> now we have what? Three, six, nine. We have nine by nine. And then this is how you make the diamond one. You three glass on the bottom and top, and then diamonds on the side with a golden chest. Then make a diamond chest. A diamond and a crystal chest held the same. They both hold the same amount. You see it with three, six, oh, it's still nine, nine by ten actually this time. No, nine by, nine by eleven. So they hold the same amount. The only difference is the crystal ones are see-through. So you can see what's in it at a quick glance. So now you just take your diamond chest and surround it by glass. And you get a crystal chest. Like I said, it's the same thing. Uh, 9 by 12, or 9 by 11. Um, it just becomes see-through. So now that we have our chest, uh, you want to make a hopper. I've already ran the power. There's a redstone furnace here. So I've already ran the power from our reactor. Um, like I said, if you if you watched the last episode, I can't jump. Uh, I built a 3 by 3 reactor. And what I ended up doing is that I moved it up to a 5x5 five five. the last one uh, so I have 5 of these now so it puts out a lot more power I'm actually going to set this is it control down to 50 I think, I think control does all of them yeah so um, you're going to make it like this I just didn't want to make another furnace. I think I'm going to though. I'll just, I'm just, I'll, why not? I'll just make another furnace. Who cares? So I have a chest here and a chest up on top and then a hopper. If you don't know what I, how to make a hopper, it's it's five iron in a chest. It makes a hopper. And so you, um, in our house edition, that what I did is I made a uh, a plank or a uh, what are these things called? A half plank, half slab. And put it up there so that way the chest can open. And I just connected the hopper to it. And then we're going to put a pulverizer here and a redstone furnace here. And they'll automatically go into this chest. What this is going to do is actually going to double our ores. Uh, so we'll get started with that. Let's start with the uh, pulverizer first. I have the pulverizer in. This one, okay. 
Uh, so that's that. So, actually, let's start with the redstone furnace. So you're gonna need two copper gears. So you're gonna need one of these redstone coils. So uh, if you didn't see how I made the gear, you can go back. You do copper on this plus sign, and then you put a piece of iron in the middle. It makes a gear. So you're gonna need two of those. You need this uh, redstone coil, which is just redstone in the corners, gold in the middle. Uh, yep, I forgot my clay. So what you need, you need uh, these little clay balls. You just gonna throw them in a furnace. Then I'll make bricks. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make the uh, engine thing. Or not the engine, but the uh, casing that we need. This set right here. This machine frame. I'm just gonna make a basic one. Uh, so you need a tin gear surrounded by glass and iron. Which I have right here. Same way you make any gear. How the tending gets on the side. Uh, with uh, iron in the middle. I'm making two of these cases. So I need two of them. So then once again you're going to do surrounded by iron. And glass. So we'll have two machine frames. We'll get, so that's on that. And then with this redstone here, I'm going to put one machine here. This is how we're going to frame it, or how we make it. And then, uh, so you put copper gears on the side, the coil in the, in the bottom middle, machine in the middle, redstone on top. And then we'll put our bricks here, which they're almost done. There go. Take our bricks, form them in. Oops, form them into these bricks. They will go right here on the sides like this. We have a redstone furnace. Now we'll come back to this one here. Get another one of those coils. Don't need the hopper. Uh, this is the pattern layout for the pulverizer. So you need a piston up on top. The, the frame in the middle, flint on each side, copper ingots, and then a coil. Then you have a pulverizer. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put the pulverizer underneath the hopper. Then we're going to put the uh, furnace on this side. So you right click to get into it. And then um, we're going to program it with this here. These are programs. So blue is suck, red is just the hole. Yellow is a push out, um, and orange is a blow. So uh, we got top, left, right, bottom, and then back. So at the back here is actually going to be yellow. Bottom is going to be nothing. Left click to change it, and then this one's going to be nothing. Uh, let's see, is it this way? Yeah, it's red. All right, so you want it to be blue on top left to be orange and then this bottom right which is the back to be red and I'll show you why here in a little bit so uh, it's gonna accept things this way and it's gonna blow them out this way and also blow them out of the back now with the furnace the you can keep this blue if you want and then we want this one to be blue which is right and want that one to be blue the bottom is gonna be nothing and then this one's gonna be blue so it's gonna accept from the back going to accept from the right side and it's going to accept from the top. It's going to blow out this left side here. So, if I have any ores, I don't think I do. Uh, I do have a copper, I have one copper ore. So now that all this is set up, we have our power going to it, like I said before. So now, after you get done mining, all you have to do is come to your, your auto smelter or auto or getter, whatever you want to call it. You can just throw all your ores in here. It goes down into the hopper. Then it gets pulverized into two different dusts. 
and then the dust will go into your furnace and it come, gets cooked into two ingots. So you, that's how you double your orders. So now with the back here, uh, this is actually going to take a minute. Let me get this set up here. I want to pause real quick. Okay, so with the back here, what we're going to do, we're going to make a node, an item node, that will suck from the back here and put it into this one. So as you're, when you put like a mass amount of things, sometimes you get a percentage of, uh, like when you put Furious or Ferris Ore uh, in here, it'll make Ferris Dust, and then you have a percentage of getting, um, I think it's yellow. I don't remember if it's yellow or red. I think it, gonna do it like that for now it's either yet this one's either yellow or red I'm pretty sure it's red but you'll get like a percentage of shiny ore um, and so you want this to go and get cooked as well just so you don't you don't have to keep stopping it so I'm gonna show you how to make all this stuff to make the node you need to make these transfer pipes here and what it is is just uh, six stone slabs piece of glass and a piece of uh, redstone in the middle here so one of these will make eight transfer pipes, so we're going to need that. And then you also need a block of redstone, which is just the nine. And you're also going to need two redstones, a chest, and two regular stones. So you're going to put this redstone in the middle here, and just one of these transfer pipes, and you have a node. So what you're going to do with this node here, <coughs> bring it around here. Oops, that's not where I wanted it. And you're just going to do it just like that. Might need to uh, move that power down. I think I'm, I think I'm just going to put it in here instead. Let's do it like that. There we go. So now it's going to that extra box is going to pull out of here and put it into there. Which is part of why we did all the programming before. So now let's see if I grab these here. So now if I put something in here. Oh, it won't let me. Let's cook. Now it won't let me put anything in there. Uh, but now, um, like I said, this is either red or yellow. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's red. Might be yellow. I don't know. You all have to play with it. If something gets stuck in here, just change it to yellow. See what happens. Um, but that's the base configuration for that and then for this as well and then also um, you can put another hopper on here with another chest so if you have stuff to just cook um, we'll actually just do that real quick because let's do chest and do I have wheat nope uh, baked potatoes. I don't have anything to cook. Flour? Nope, I've got nothing. So, uh, let's do a hopper. So, you're gonna crouch and click it in there, like that. Oh, I need to put another slab up here, I guess. That way, this will open. So slab. What we're gonna do is birch wood because that's the flooring that we have. Put this up on top like that. I'll put this here so it looks good again. The reason I do it like that is so it stays compact. These will still open, but when you go upstairs, it's just like a normal floor. So there's nothing out of place or anything. Uh, let me see if I can find something I can cook. Uh, is there any animals nearby? Oh, there's some cows. You can do it like this. And so, you can't pulverize the meat. So, instead of putting it in here, whatever, it's like, say you have, say you have like five stacks of meat that you need to cook, or wheat or something. You just put it in here, goes into the hopper, goes in and it gets cooked. 
then it comes out here. Easy way to cook everything and double your orders. So as always, if you have any comments, just leave them down below. And I will see you next time.